Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies and I am here today with a flip through of this vintage retro sewing journal. It is hardcover. Actually, before I get into it, I will mention that I'm going to have a no talking flip through as well. I think that's going to come up after this one. Um, I mean, as a separate video. So if you would rather just be straightforward and see what's going on in this journal, you can watch that one or you can watch this one. But this journal is one of six of a series that I'm doing um, of the vintage retro sewing journals. And this measures about five and a half. It's a tiny bit larger than five and a half by a little less than nine inches. Let me make sure that's accurate. Sorry, I have this tiny ruler here that requires me to like do math. <laughs> Seven, eight, okay, eight and a half. Eight and a half. So five and a half by eight and a half. And that's like, it might be a tiny bit bigger. The spine is two and a half, a little smaller than two and a half. And there's three signatures. It's made from, it's a hard cover made from a vintage sewing pattern envelope. I loved how these turned out. It feels very sturdy. These sewing patterns are always um, kind of falling apart, but I made sure to adhere it very well to the hardcover. So it literally just feels like it's part of the book at this point. And the back, let me see if I try to leave the date exposed. But I don't see it on this one. So, but my guess by the picture as well as the price is that it's around the 70s. I have a flat fabric dangle right here. And basically, it's a thimble, spool of thread, um, scissors that I stamped onto fabric. And I hung them on here as if they were charms. But the nice thing about it is that it can hang on the outside, but it can also go on the inside because it's completely flat. And then there's two other layers to it. I decided to just do a simple hitch post fastener as a closer, closure for two of these journals. And for the ones with um, the sewing pattern envelope in the front, I really wanted to keep it very like unadorned and technical almost, I would say. So it's not very feminine, but because it's, you know, these beautiful vintage sewing patterns, it, it looks feminine. But I liked the hardcover and it's just very no nonsense and simple. So let's go ahead inside. Now, before I go on, I should mention that this one will come with the lap book. So it's gonna come with either this one or one very similar to this. It might be a different cover. This is just a sample. It might come with this. I'm not gonna do the flip through of this in this video because I did a flip through of a mini lap book in another video that I will leave linked because it would just take way too long. But just know that one of these comes with this. A very similar one or that exact one. So let's go ahead and open this up. I just kind of left it very plain. You can decorate this up if you want to. Here is a journaling card in this collaged pocket. I used book page from a 70s home improvement book 
and I collaged on here with the Taylor Made Journals grungy wallpaper and this is the same grungy wallpaper it had a very nice vintage retro feel to it so I loved using her papers in here this is sewing pattern tissue that is covering a piece of book page and I love the texture of it I love how lumpy it is and just puffy it feels really good this is a cover of a knitting I believe it's knitting um, a knitting pamphlet slash magazine type thing this is a faux center of the signature and I will try to link a video for how I did this it's not the center of the signature but you can see the whole page so I do that a lot for um, images that I want the whole page to show this is stuck <laughs> this is really stuck let me see if I can loosen it up it shouldn't be that stuck okay I'm gonna try to work it out when I turn off the camera but there's a chance that this could be permanently stuck in here I must have put it in okay there <laughs> all right so this is from a National Geographic magazine and it is one from the 50s this is a 1942 Buick And here is a journaling card. Coffee dyed paper right here. Here's a journaling card. And one from a Better Homes and Gardens sewing five ring binder. And this image is from the same. Vintage sheet turned into a fabric ruffle right there. This is some ledger paper. It's from a Betty Crocker cookbook for kids. And it flips up. And there's a pocket down here holding these journaling cards. And as you can see, this and this used to be part of the same page. Um, I just cut them apart and I made this one smaller, like more narrow, but I wanted to leave all the instructions and ingredients in one place so that if anyone wanted to, they could follow this recipe. This is from a 1970s magazine that I turned into a tuck spot with fabric that's backed onto coffee dyed paper. So the majority of these items are vintage, either vintage books, magazines, pamphlets, um, fabric. This is probably more recent, maybe like ledger paper from the 90s or something like that. This is a vintage retro slide mount. There's a floating image of um, a National Geographic image in each of these and they make cool tug spots because you can kind of see what's going on behind there. This is an altered paper clip. It holds this envelope and there are two windows on it. And it opens up and something can be tucked on the inside. Coffee dyed paper, deli paper. This little pocket right here is from a National Geographic magazine. I love these type of images. I think it was from a magazine from the 50s. 
deli paper here. It feels really cool. Coffee dyed paper. A home improvement book from the 70s. Some more ledger paper here. Bunk bed pocket right here with two journaling cards. This is a recipe card that I always include in my retro journals. This page is from a book called The Delta Cram from the 40s, I believe. Ledger paper, cock dyed paper. Here's a funny little tuck spot. I hope whoever gets this can appreciate it. <laughs> it's about period pain, so. All right, this is a vintage ad, and I love these images. Those drawings are so cool. And here's a larger journaling card back there. This is the other side of that knitting pamphlet. Again, love the feel of that. Second signature bunk bed pockets right here with recipe journaling cards on the inside. Faux center of the signature. This is from a 70s magazine. Very obvious, I would think. <laughs> here is a really cool ad about the exercycle. That's pretty clever. Surprised people don't use it anymore. And on the inside is a little blurb about it. I love keeping um, articles together with their picture. It says, there's no easier way to keep fit, trim, and strong with the exercycle. Coffee dyed paper right here. This is from a 70s magazine. This is from an old pamphlet from, I think probably a store from some kind of mall. It's from one of those high-end stores like Bolux or something. Do you guys remember Bolux? Another one of these pockets being held on with a, an altered paper clip. And this one was more 70s. Everything is extremely awkward on camera. Okay. <laughs> Here are here's another vintage ad. I love the font. I'm really loving these um, index cards with the grid on them. I used to buy them at Walmart, but I found these at my dollar store. I think at Walmart it's probably around a dollar as well, but this is so much closer to me and I've been loving it. There's two tuck spots in here. Another floating vintage retro slide mount. Some more journaling cards in here. The other side of that pamphlet. I thought this was a cool page because it's from a cookbook, but it left space for people to write, and I thought that went well in this journal. From an old cookbook. Third signature starts out with a loaded pocket. There's a blue doily back here, as well as a um, piece of vintage sheet backed onto coffee dyed paper. And some little odds and ends tucked in here. 
this image back here is um, mixed media in Minnesota. Their sewing pattern, Digikit. And here's a top tuck up here. This is made from sewing tissue paper. Two tuck spots, that's from KB and Friends, from the Delta Gram book from the 40s. Vintage sheet fabric ruffle, ruffle right there. This is from a Kodak um, pamphlet, or like one of those little booklets. This is engineering paper, I believe, and it is is a copyright on here 1975 this is from one of my very favorite books it's a sewing book from the 1940s and I just love these images that's like my ideal image right there I had a hard time cutting into that book I usually don't have a hard time but that one was a little challenging <laughs> There's a recipe card in here and another drawing card down here. This is an altered paper clip. I think it's so cute. And this is an image from a um, National Geographic magazine from the 50s. This is a tip in, and up here I tucked two little journaling cards. It opens up and there's a long pocket in the front right here and two pockets on the side in here this is from a popular mechanics book I believe yeah it's one of those thinner ones and here's a collaged pocket with a journaling card. This is a stamp that I stamped and I fussy cut out. I thought that style was kind of 50s or vintage. Another vintage retro slide mount down here with some card journaling cards in there. Flips out. Here's some coffee dyed paper. This is from the Delta Graham book again. I love this digital kit. It's from KB and Friends. And I don't remember the name of this kit, but I will try to remember to link everything down below. And here are some odds and ends in this loaded pocket. All right, so that's the end of that one. Um, again, I will have a no talking flip through as well. But thank you so much for watching today and I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.